Hi everyone, hey it's Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers and I'm excited to announce that this is season two so these are all going to be new Sunday snippets and I had a little party favor but I couldn't find it in the house but I did find this so welcome season two. We are going to be talking about filters for the next few weeks. This one I thought was kind of fun because it's flares, filter flaring. So to top it off with the premiere, I guess, the premiere of the Sunday snippets. And these snippets are recorded and they are put inside of the members only area. So if you can't find some from the past inside of our blog, we go ahead and hibernate them. I said hibernate uh, it, them because it's getting to be kind of chilly here in Colorado for the fall seasons coming around and uh, you will be able to find all those older Sunday snippets in here and then I'll also be putting in the season two so these will probably be labeled somehow season one and season two so those of you who are members you can always watch these and they're always going to be archived inside of the members only area another thing I wanted to let you know those of you who are brand new to uh, the members area on the right hand side you will always see the upcoming members only class so you can register by click here to register now and you will be able to register for the upcoming classes of course this class right here was already done last week and um, because these are done these, these are starting in October all of our seasons start in October and two the new versions come out in October as well of Photoshop elements so just always keep that in mind um, I guess that's probably pretty much it so stay tuned right now for the fun with filters you can find the whole entire class inside of 2020 members classes and it is right here fun with filters with Michelle bye for now next up is I go into oh this is a fun one this is cool okay me and my cousin a couple weeks ago we went to this place called paint mines in Colorado if anybody lives in Colorado it's a really cool place um, and we took some pictures when I got home I'm like that doesn't look like it was but what you can do is you can kind of enhance the photo by using lens flare and you can do this with like cool pictures, portraits, and things like that. So the first thing I like to do though, is I always go into my enhance feature and I'm just gonna use haze removal just because I like that tool a lot. So here's the before and here's the after. It just gives it that little pop. You see that before and after. So I'm gonna click on, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do, a, I'm gonna cancel this real quick, hold on. Let me cancel. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna duplicate that layer. Okay, then I'm going to go into Enhance, Haze Removal, my first thing I want to do, and then here's the before and after, and you can play around with these little sliders, but I think that looks pretty darn good. And then I want to add a filter to this. I want to add a little flare. So let's go to Filter, Stylize, is that where it's at? Hold on. Oh, let me get my cheat sheet because I don't use this very often. Render, sorry. Render, and then lens flare. Now, you can change this little guy right here. See how I clicked on it? And I'm moving it up into the upper right-hand corner. You can also brighten it like crazy if you want to and by using this little slider. Now there's four different lens types. One is the 5300 millimeter zoom. There's the 35, there's the 105, and then there's the movie, which is kind of cool because it gives you that little, you see that little line there? So I'm just gonna use that one because I think that looks kind of cool. And you can brighten it again, of course, and you can move it, right? See how it's kind of got that? It goes back to the bottom left-hand corner and in the upper right-hand corner. Or you could move it to the upper left-hand corner. I kind of like it in the right-hand corner. I'm going to click on OK. And now here's the before and here's the after. Pretty cool. Before and after.